tonight is not an end, but a beginning. We ask your blessings upon us, the class of 1992, as we cross this bridge together, stepping into a new horizon. As we walk into our tomorrow with so many uncertainties, we ask for your continued leadership and guidance that our lives may be prosperous and full of joy. In your son's precious and holy name we pray. Amen. Good evening. On behalf of the entire class of 1992, I'd like to cordially welcome you, each and every one, to graduation and commencement exercises for Pike County High School class of 1992. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the ceremony. The theme for the graduating class of 1992 is Nothing Gold Can Stay, written by Robert Frost. It reads, Nature's first green is gold, her hardest hue to hold, her early leaves of flower, but only so an hour. Then leaf subsides to leaf, so Eden sank to grief. So dawn goes down to day, nothing gold can stay. Talmadge's essay, Only Once, reflects our theme also. We live but once, the years of childhood, when what's past are gone forever. It matters not how ardently we may wish to live them over, it avails us nothing. So it is with the other stages of life. The past is no longer ours. It has gone beyond our reach. What we have made it, it shall remain. There is no power in heaven or on earth that can change it. The record of our past stands forth in bold and in unremovable characters open to the all-seeking eye of God. There it is, and one day we shall give an account of it. The present moment alone is ours. Today is a day which we never had before, and which we will never have again. It rose from the great ocean of eternity, and again it sinks into its unfathomable depths. Robert Frost wrote, 
So dawn goes down today, nothing gold can stay. Our gold robes and gold ta tassels of May 30th, 1980, have faded. And in the words of Wordsworth, though nothing can bring back the hour of splendor in the grass, of glory in the flower, we will grieve not, rather find strength in what is left behind. And what is left behind? Red and white robes, two roses for tomorrow. Not just an education, but a walk through life. And our reward is a work of art. If our colors fade, our love will not, because we have a foundation that has been built on our experiences in this school system. I love you, Pike County. God bless you. seventh edition of Webster's Dictionary, the definition of appreciation states, to fully understand the importance of, to be really appreciative of someone should be more than just saying thanks. To show someone that you really appreciate their efforts is also a sign of respect. We should always try to be thankful to the people who have helped us reach the point of attaining success, in this case graduation. Every senior who is graduating tonight should have someone in his or her life that God has truly blessed them with. In my case, my mother has always been there whenever I needed someone to count on. A great mother like mine is an extraordinary thing that no best friend could ever replace. Sometimes as students, we may tend to get out of line and, be, and begin heading in the wrong direction. I always tell my mother that I love her and appreciate all the time that she spends on me to make sure that I stay focused on my objectives in life and in school. Whether we seniors know it or not, God has blessed all of us here and has given us the opportunity to reach yet another milestone in our lives. I would also like to give a special thanks to all the faculty here at Pike County High School. Although our whole staff is very helpful, there always seems to be one or two who seem to stand out from the rest. Teachers like Miss Mangum give the word teacher a new meaning. Not only does she prepare us for Miss Hammond's 90 mile per hour lectures, she, ta she takes it upon herself to really get to know all the students and push them to their capabilities. Here at Pike County High, we are blessed to have faculty members like Ms. Mangum and Ms. Ralston, people that we can also call our friends. You don't know how much students appreciate having a teacher who makes not only life seem, seem appreciative, but also teaches us about school and things that we need to learn. Having lived in seven different states and two different countries, I can honestly say that the Pike County High School staff is unparalleled to any, that I've ever, unparalleled to any other that I've ever seen. On behalf of all the graduates of 1992, I want to send out our sincere wishes and appreciation to all the members of this school who have made our tenure a most pleasurable experience. And last but not least, I thank all the graduates of the Man Upstairs a special prayer to show him how much we appreciate the love and strength he has given us, to know that there has been someone watching out after us. From the time we were little children playing on the playgrounds, is remarkable in itself. God is a wonderful person who has given us many objectives in life to pursue and goals to strive for. We all know that we can never repay our parents for all the hard work that they've done for us. We just hope they understand how much we love and appreciate them. And hopefully one day we will be able to do the same for others as our parents have done for us. Thank you. The Pike County High School class of 1992 is no stranger to achievement. Everything we have endeavored to do has been a success. We have strived to do the best in everything that we do, and we have a work ethic that few can match. We have succeeded in many areas, one such area is academics. We have a record 27 honor graduates. And we have led the literary team, which in the last four years has one region two years and been runner up the other two. On the literary team, we have been successful in, we have been in successful one act plays competed well in spelling, oral and ter trio, quartet, and other facets of the literary team. We have also helped the math team to many winning se seasons. And on the debate team, we have led it, and it has got a debate trophy this year by winning a tournament. Athletics is another area where, where we have been achieved much. We have been leaders on a baseball team that could beat almost any team in the state, no matter what their the school size. And we have led the golf team, which has 
been distinct many years in a row. And we, have, we have also achieved much in other areas of academics and athletics, as well as other programs such as band, where we have amassed more than 40 trophies. And, se and the senior play, which was a great ghost chase this year, which was a very big success. Everything we have done has been well done. We and Matthew said, a great deal of joy of life consists in doing perfectly or at least to the best of one's ability, everything which he attempts to do. There is a sense of satisfaction, a pride in surveying such a work, a work which is rounded, full, exact, complete in all its parts, which the superficial man who leaves his work in a sloven, slipshod, half-finished manner can never know. It is this conscientious completeness which turns into art, the smallest things well done as art. The achievements of the class of 1992 is a painting on the history of Pike County High School, a piece of art which is eternally etched into the halls of this school. And what is the painting that we have left? It is a road, the road of life, with many people walking down it, heading for a common goal. It is not an easy road. It is one with hills and valleys and many tasks to do on the way. And the faces of travelers, they're not faces of discouragement and of weariness, but of pride and joy in what they have accomplished and great expectations for the future. Now the travelers have reached a crossroads and our painting has come to an end just like all great works of art should. But we know that as we travel off in our separate ways into life, that there are many works of art left to accomplish. Tonight, the class of 1992 completes its first big step in life. Now we must continue our lives to conquer the many milestones that lie ahead of us. Many of us have our milestones marked, although, and daily we strive with our sights set on these goals, knowing that someday we'll catch up with them. This characteristic of many of my fellow classmates is sparked by the strong desire to always excel and perform their best in whatever they do. When you put several of these young men and women together, the situation is intensified and there's nothing this group can accomplish. This proves Morris M. Brand Jr.'s statement, exposure to excellence prompts excellence. I'm speaking on aspiration and this is my definition of aspiration. The A is for accomplishment. There would be no goals if the person attaining them didn't feel the sense of accomplishment while working toward these goals. S is for scholar. It takes common sense to figure out that in order to reach a goal, one must work hard and dedicate himself to that cause. Therefore, someone with that sense must be a scholar. The P is for potential. One must have an enormous amount of potential behind any goal he or she has set. If the individual has no potential, then the goal doesn't either. I is for inspiration. Without the people in our everyday lives who encourage us to keep striving, our goals may dwindle from the lack of reassurance. The R is for responsible. Working hard every day towards a goal shows our elders that the younger generation has responsibility and that the future of our nation is safe in the hands of that younger generation. The second A is for ambition. Ambition is the foundation of any goal and without it no goal can be accomplished. It is what gives the desire to climb towards that goal. The T is for thrive. Once goals have been set, and are on their way to being reached. The individual begins to thrive or succeed in life. This is one of the main objectives of a goal. The I is for illustrious. Once an individual begins accomplishing his or her goals, he or she becomes distinguished and renowned due to his time and hard work reaching these goals. The O is for outstanding. Anyone who can set goals and reach them is looked at by his at the other looked at by others as outstanding because when others see that person 
They not only see a great personality, but they see all his accomplishments. The end is for now. In order to set goals and reach them, you have to start now. Because right now is your tomorrow. Thank you.
please come forward. On behalf of the 1992 senior class of Pike County High School, we'd like to present the school with a gift of $2,200 from the proceeds of the senior class. I'd like to thank the senior class for that donation and at this time I would like to recognize a group of students within the senior class that have been accepted to college and also identifying scholarships that they may have received. I'll also indicate several young people that have been accepted to the vocational technical schools locally and about a half a dozen that have been accepted into the armed services. Clinton Abbott will be going to Gordon College. He has received a business scholarship there. Amy Adams, going to Emmanuel College, has received a William Carter Company scholarship plus the Emmanuel scholarship. Beth Allen is going to Gordon College. Quadratus Anderson, Truett McConnell on a music scholarship. Chris Altman, United States Navy. Pam Beckham, United States Navy. Torum Beckham is going to Gordon College. Beth Bentley to Gordon College. Tracy Perez is going to Gordon College. She received the Bill Whitaker Scholarship. She's also receiving financial supplement to play softball at Gordon this next year. Caleb Billingsley is a toss-up between Georgia Tech and UGA. <laughs> Mariah Childs, Gordon College. Becky Clark, Trevica Nazarene College, an SAT scholarship. Shane Courtney has been accepted to Navy Flight School. Becky Crane will be attending the University of Georgia. She has received an alumni scholarship and also a Griffin Music Club scholarship. Josh Creighton will be attending Valdosta State. He's received a, a golf scholarship to Valdosta State. Donnie Davis will be attending Gordon College. Kelly Dufresne will be going to Griffin Tech. She has received a Senior Honor Scholarship. Mitchell Dukes. United States Navy. Bree Edgerton will be attending Gordon College. She's received a 1,000 Club Scholarship. Christy Finley will be re attending Gordon College. She's received a Bernard Eccles Scholarship. Becky Gardner will be attending Gordon College. Amy Gordy will be attending Gordon College. Jason Governor will be attending Gordon College. He also received the Brian Harden scholarship plus a student council scholarship that's offered through the high school. Stephanie Griggers will be attending Macon College. Wendy Guy will be attending Gordon College. Tina Haney will be attending Gordon College. She received a student council scholarship. Melanie Houghton will attend Clearwater Christian in Florida. Cindy Hutchins will be attending Griffin Tech. Jerry Johnson will be attending Georgia Tech. He's received an ROTC scholarship. Kimberly King will attend Florida Institute of Technology. She's received a scholarship from that institution. Jason Lindsay will be attending Chattahoochee Valley State. Felicia Lovelace will be attending Savannah State College. Rachel and Rebecca Lynch will be attending Truett McConnell. Donnie Mayfield will be attending Gordon College. He received a Dixie Youth and a VFW scholarship. Kathy Jo Mangum will be attending Gordon College. Donald McCrary will attend West Georgia College. Bill Mejia will attend Upson Tech, received a Graphic Arts scholarship. Jamie Merritt will attend South Georgia College. He received a baseball scholarship. Tiffany Miller will attend South Georgia College. 
Cindy Milner will attend Griffin Tech. David Oliver will be going to Georgia Tech. Jonathan Osteen will attend Gordon College. Joe Parks will be going to Middle Georgia College on a baseball scholarship. Dawn Peoples will be attending Gordon. She has received a Georgia Baptist scholarship and also a 1000 Club scholarship. Ashley Pittman will be attending Florida Baptist Theological College. Christian Pitts will be attending Clayton State. Karen Pitts will be attending Mercer University on a full scholarship. Jason Poston will attend Gordon College on a 1000 Club scholarship. Michael Poulos will attend Gordon College. Daniel Roberts will be going to the University of Georgia. He received an alumni scholarship. Case Geltema will be attending Bob Jones College. She received the Concord Community Club Scholarship. Don Shackelford will be attending Gordon College. Michael Smith will be attending Gordon College on the Brad Edwards Memorial Scholarship. Amber Strickland will be attending Emmanuel College. She received a First Union Scholarship. Jason Sutherland will be at will be sailing away with the United States Navy. Chris Tackle will be attending Auburn University. Rhonda Thompson will be attending Gordon College. Shannon Turner will be attending Gordon College and she has received the J. Joel Edwards Scholarship. Jason Ward will be attending Gordon College. Rob Weaver will be going into the Navy. And Stephanie Wyatt will be attending Gordon College. Out of the 106 that we have graduating, 54 will be going off to school. Three of those will be attending a vocational technical school. The others will be in a college. They have received over $150,000 in scholarships money. We have 25%, for those of you who are mathematically inclined, that are graduating with honors this year. That's they had to maintain or had to have a 90.0 grade point average or above for the four years in school. At this time, I would like to recognize the salutatorian for this school year, Mr. Jerry Johnson. This year's valedictorian is Daniel Roberts. While these two young men are up here, they will both receive a governor's scholarship that's given to the valedictorian salutatorian. It will assist them in paying tuition at the colleges of their choice in Georgia. At this time, the following students have met all the prescribed requirements for graduation and I would like to present them to the Board of Education at this time.
Field. Michael David Oliver. Don Patrice Peoples. Jason Carl Poston. Amber Joy Strickland. Shannon Gail Turner.
Renee Finley. Rebecca A. Gardner. Tammy Marie Giles. Stephanie Michelle Griggers. Joseph Todd Hatchett. Ava Danielle Jordan Angela Juanita Lawrence Felicia Loveless Montre Lyons. <laughs>
James Parks Jr.
Lord, this is the end of our high school career. You have blessed us with many wonderful friends and teachers. The memories of our school years will last a lifetime. I can only pray that you, Lord, will watch over every member of our PCH family and be as good to us in the future as you were these past 13 years. Thank you for your many blessings and please help guide us in the right direction as we face many difficult decisions in the next couple of years. Thank you for our parents and families who have encouraged us and helped us to reach this point in our lives. Please be with us and bring us back together again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.